When you see it, you think, well, this looks like nothing from San Diego. I'm from Point Loma, and I just happened onto the street one day, and I'm like, wow, what is that? It's a row house, several homes in one long building, the kind of thing you might find in some eastern cities like Philadelphia, not in the 900 block of A Avenue in National City. And it was built in 1887, and it's got the highest rating you can get on the National Register of Historic Sites. And to understand how it came to be built here in the first place, we need to know a little history. And to help us with that is a person who's lived in the row house for nearly 40 years and knows more about it than anybody, Lady Janice Martinelli. This is what Brick Row, the building we're in now, looked like when it was first built. There was nothing like it in San Diego County in the 1880s, appearing to be very East Coast. The whole place looks like it could have been picked up from the city of brotherly love and dropped here in National City. But no, it was built here and Lady Janice, who is also the president of the National City Historical Society, has thoroughly researched how it happened. Here's a picture of what it looked like in the old days. In the 1880s, National City wanted, no, desperately needed, a railroad to bring people and prosperity here. But the decision makers, the railroad officials, they lived in Philadelphia. National City needed a way to get their attention back there. And this right here is our guy, Frank Kimball. They call him the little man with the big ideas. He was only five foot one. Frank Kimball, along with his brothers, he had come from New Hampshire seeking better weather and economic opportunity, but again, the railroad was the key, and his big idea was to build this. A Philadelphia row house right here in San Diego County, an exact replica right down to the last flourish, with 12-inch thick walls and stained glass windows. It was, look, you Philadelphia railroad executives, you'll feel right at home here. So when Kimball actually got them to come out and look at National City, I think that that helped because they thought, oh wow, look at this. This is beautiful, this is like Philadelphia. The railroad came and with it the railroad officials who did like and did live in the row house. It was said that for a time, so did Wyatt Earp. There's a lot of information that I've read and researched that all points to that being true. So you're going with that? I'm going with that. This is an actual dairy bottle that we found under the building. Janice Martinelli loves every brick and every trinket associated with this place. She operates a Victorian tea house here and says she would have so liked to have lived back in that time. It's why she calls herself Lady Janice, as ladies would have in that era. It's hard to picture her living anyplace else, really, than this National City Row House, first built to entice those Philadelphia executives in 1887. And here it stands today, and it's lovely.